Hello everyone! Welcome to another video where we talk about periods. Today I am going to be sharing with you a period essentials kit that you can literally take anywhere with you. You can put it in your locker at school, in your backpack, in your purse, in your car, anywhere, literally. Personally, having this little kit has been really helpful for me because I'm someone who doesn't really know exactly when my period is going to show up, and a lot of times it shows up at a very inconvenient time, like boarding an airplane, and I'm like, cool, okay, I have to go into a tiny bathroom and figure this out. I have just realized that I should probably be prepared for any and every scenario. So this is my little period kit. I have a bag with little pussies on it. <laughs> I just had to say that because it's just so good. This has cats all over it and you know, I have my period prods in my pussy bag. So inside I have some various period products and I included a variety in here just for the sake of this video, but personally, I am someone that only uses pads, at least at this current phase in my life. And so I have a couple pads in here, one for a heavier flow and then like a little liner in case, you know, sometimes when your period first starts, it's just a little bit spotty, or if you're at the end of your period and it's starting to slow down and you don't necessarily need like a heavy, thicker pad. I also have a menstrual cup in here. This is a diva cup. So this is a menstrual cup. I'm really trying to use a menstrual cup because I just wanna see what it's like, but so far I have not been successful with it. And you guys on Twitter have been really supportive because I snapped about my experience and how it just didn't work out for me the first time I tried it. And a lot of you were saying that, you know, it took you two to three cycles to just even get it in successfully. So thank you for supporting me because it really means a lot because I was just like, whoa, why isn't this working? So Diva Cup comes with this little case that you can keep it in. So. That's where mine is. BT Dubs, if you want more information in terms of period management product options, I did an entire video on things that you can use, so I will link that down below. And then I have a couple of tampons in here. I don't use tampons personally, but I just stuck them in here for this video. And sometimes I do carry tampons with me because you never know, someone around you may want a tampon, so. Now toilet paper is not something that's always guaranteed. Sometimes you'll go into a public restroom and there is absolutely no toilet paper. You can't even like jerry rig a toilet seat cover to make some toilet paper. So that's why it's really handy to have some wipes on hand. And these are the Summer's Eve individual wipes and these act as toilet paper and you know a little refresher all in one since they are moist wipes and these just feel really good when you're on your period and you just feel like oh i want something that's like wet down there to kind of just refresh myself but i don't have time to take a shower so these are awesome Oh yes, I do have an extra pair of underwear in my bag. If you are someone that has a period, then it's probably safe to say that at some point, you've had to throw away at least one pair of underwear because your period just got everywhere and you couldn't salvage your underwear. Plus the experience of just getting your period unexpectedly and then it's all over your underwear and if you do have like a pad or a tampon or a menstrual cup with you, you still have dirty underwear that you have to deal with. So I find it really handy to just have an extra clean pair of underwear with me just in case because you never know. This is my absolute favorite kind of underwear. It's from a brand called Bonds, which is an Australian brand. This is the hipster boy cut, I believe and I literally have this exact cut in almost every single color that they make because it's so comfortable. I am someone that does not like thongs. I like some full coverage underwear, whether I'm on my period or not on my period. I just find it to be a lot more comfortable. Now, if you do get your menstrual blood on your underwear, a really easy way to lift the stain 
is hydrogen peroxide. And that's why I carry around a little travel size bottle of hydrogen peroxide because this will literally lift out the blood so quickly and easily, whether it's a fresh stain or it's a stain that has completely dried it will take the blood out. What's good to do is if you notice a stain on your underwear, just put the hydrogen peroxide on as soon as you can, but if you can't, it's okay if it's dry too. And then um, just toss this in the washer with the rest of your laundry and the stain will come right out. My mom taught me this when I was a teenager and I was just constantly ruining my underwear because it would just get like blood stains on it. And she was like, here's what you do and I have not found anything that works better. Now, getting into like managing the uncomfortable things that can come along with having your period. For me specifically, I get very gassy. Like I am just farting everywhere, to be totally honest. Like it's just a very gassy life for me. I wanted to show you guys different options even though I don't necessarily use all of these products because choices. I got this hat in Portland, by the way, during the Mississippi Street Fair, and I saw this and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing, choices. That's what it's all about. Now, in addition to farting, having gas is also just physically uncomfortable because a lot of times the gas can build up and I recently was on an airplane where the gas built up into my ribs and I was just like doubled over. Like, oh my God, what's happening? This hurts so bad. What helps me with that is gas X. It just helps relieve the symptoms of gas, like bloating, the pain associated with it. For me, it doesn't make it go away completely, but it helps with the farting. I take gas -X after I've eaten a meal and it works really, really well and it has saved me from so much gassy pain. I also have a bag of ibuprofen. I just have a lot of it because this is something that's just good to have because when I'm on my period, I get headaches, I get cramps sometimes, um, I get achy and it's just handy to have ibuprofen, I think, in general. I primarily use this for headaches, though. That's kind of like the main symptom for me with my period is like a tension headache that just won't go away until I take some ibuprofen. And then last but not least in my kit, I have B vitamins. I like taking B vitamins just when I'm not on my period, but when I am on my period, I find that my energy level really dips. I mean, that makes sense because you are literally bleeding. So you are losing energy through that and you can just feel fatigued when you're on your period. So I find that just popping a couple B vitamins really helps with my energy level. And I like these VitaFusion B12 vitamins because they taste really good. They help me feel better. So that is everything that's in my little pouchy kit thing. There are various different ways to keep track of your period and it's really just about figuring out what works for you. The first thing that you can do is make your own list. So this is like the DIY way. And you can literally just take a piece of paper and every time you get your period, you can list out the day that you get it. You can write down any kind of symptoms. And then when you get your next period, you can put a number off to the side stating how many days were between the two periods and you can list how long your period lasted, et cetera, et cetera. It's a really easy way to keep track of your period and you don't need to do anything except get a piece of paper and a pen. Just revisit it every time you get your period. The second thing you can do is add it to your calendar. And this is something that I really like to do. So I will input it into like my calendar on my phone and this way I can just track my period and I can see when it starts, when it ends, kind of guesstimate when my next period is gonna come because mine is not on a super regular schedule. Like sometimes it'll come in four weeks, sometimes it comes in six weeks, sometimes it comes in eight weeks, 
but I can usually kind of gauge when it's going to come based off of how my body feels because like my boobs will get more tender. I will normally get a headache. I crave chocolate heavily. These are just the tried and true signs that I have learned to get in touch with over the years of having my period. And then the last method that I'm gonna be talking about today is using an app. So there are lots of apps out there that you can use to track your period. I know that Eve is a really popular one right now because it not only tracks your period, but I believe it tracks like your ovulation and also just your sexual health in general. So you can input like the days that you're sexually active, et cetera, et cetera. And it gives you um, kind of like an all-encompassing look at your health and well-being. And last but not least, just a few things to keep in mind. Basically, this all just comes down to paying attention to your body. And don't worry about whether or not you have a cycle that's exactly 28 days. Because actually, the more people that I talk to about periods, having an irregular schedule is pretty normal. And you can kind of gauge when there's something off about your body. So that's why it's just important to stay in touch with your symptoms in terms of when your period is coming. Because your body may not display the same symptoms every time. Like sometimes my boobs don't get tender at all and I'll just have a headache and maybe some chocolate cravings. But I kind of know the realm of symptoms that my body will display. So you can kind of play towards your future self and prep now so when your period does come you'll be ready for it those are all of my tips for putting together a period essentials kit and these are just things that I have found to be personally helpful so feel free to like use this as a starting point and you can add your own things you can take things away just take what works for you and roll with it and if you have any suggestions for things that you put in your period essentials kit that I didn't mention tell me down below in the comments because because I love it when I discover new amazing things from you guys. At the end of the day, this period essentials kit is not about sinking into the shame that we have been taught by society to feel when it comes to our periods. This is something that is totally natural and actually essential to our health as human beings. I think this is a way to take pride in taking care of your well being because there are menstruating humans around us everywhere every single day, including this one right here. And so the taboo isn't periods themselves because something can't be a taboo when it happens all the time. The taboo is talking about it. By talking about this and choosing to openly take care of ourselves and to not feel ashamed of it is a step in the right direction. Let's all get in a group hug my menstruating friends, and even if you're not menstruating at this very moment, or you don't menstruate ever, let's get into a group hug, because we need to take care of each other. More self-love and more love for all of us. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it enjoyable and or helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be talking about periods more in the future as well as other things. I hope you all are having an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Bye.